Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to place video content inside text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got these two video clips. I downloaded these video clips from Pixabay. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. Let's open up Premiere Pro and we'll take these two video clips and drag them into the media pool here. Let's take this first one, it's of this video of these flames and we drag and drop that onto the timeline. Let's use this tool here, we just grab this handle and drag it across so that we can zoom in on this particular video clip. And if you click on the text object, so if you were to click on the text object and click in here, it won't work. You need to move across the timeline slightly and then move back to the very first frame, right? The very, large, the very first frame. And now the text tool will start to work. Let's click inside of here and I'm going to type in, uh, let's just type in something like awesome. We'll click back on the move tool and when we click on this text we can drag it and position it wherever we want and if we go to windows window here and type in effects or click on the effects controls we'll be able to see and manipulate this particular text so let's click on this drop down you see it says text awesome here let's just click on the drop down and inside of here we'll change the font i'm just going to use something like um, impact we'll select that it's like a nice bold font and that's really what we want to use but you can choose any font you like I just want to increase the spacing here a bit and increase the font size. Let's make it pretty large and we drag it towards the center. So we've got this text here. This is pretty much done. There's not much else we need to do to it, uh, but you want something that's quite large like this. So in the timeline down here, we can see the text above is longer than the video clip. So we just want to, let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's grab the text from the left, from the right hand side and drag it across. So that it snaps and it's aligned with the, um, the the fire clip below. Let's click on that fire clip below and inside the effects panel here. So go to window and make sure you can see effects here. And inside this effects panel is type in track, T-R-A-C-K. And we want to take the track map key and drag and drop it onto the video clip below. Now you'll see the options here for the map. And inside the map drop down, we want to select video 2 because our text is based on video 2 timeline and here's the video 2 so let's select video 2 here and then when we click play we'll see this nice fire effect overlaid or a text uh, overlaid on top of this fire it's kind of you know a nice effect to have i think it looks pretty good and you can experiment with that and you know play around with the colors and the saturation and so forth to improve it if you like so that's kind of how i go about um adding text and then having the video clip display within the text itself it's a nice little technique to just create a really really quick sort of intro or something like that for a video clip it's a nice technique to do that okay let's just go to file save and then go, let's go back to file and save as and let's make a version 2 of this so we just call it dash v2 and we'll click save so we've got our flame version there and let's just click on this video clip here of the flames and delete it We'll drag in the water clip now. So I've also given you a link to that as well. It's like this water effect. And let's just see how that works on the water because I think we have fire and we also have water as well. So let's drag um, here. Let's just zoom out so that we can just reduce the timeline here or we'll reduce this clip so that it matches the text above. And we can zoom back in again. Let's just zoom back in here. And let's just get this to align correctly here. And we can take the track map key again and drag and drop that onto the C clip. And then we just go to here and we'll select video two again. And now we've got this water effect, right? So we've got fire and water. So you can have a little bit of fun. You can take different types of clips and you can manipulate them, um, you know, in different ways. So it's down for you to now go and experiment with this and add your own type of effects. We could, in theory, uh, zoom back out a little bit here. Let's just zoom back out. And we could take these two clips and drag them out much further. We could actually increase these because this clip here was actually a lot longer. The fire one is very short, but this one here is a lot longer. So we can just play that out for a little bit of a longer duration. You can have a little bit of fun and experiment with this particular technique. So let's stop this. Let's press Control S to save it. Let's minimize and we'll close this folder. So that's how you go about placing video content inside, inside of text using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.